Swaggy with the twin. I think you guys got to sing something with us. I, well, every time we get close to New York, we think about this song because uh, it happened in Madison Square Garden. I wonder what song we're going to sing now. Our dad was asked to perform in, uh, I guess it was 71, it was an oldies concert, and the promoter put together this big collection of artists for, uh, to play songs for all those people that felt disenfranchised by the 60s and kind of want to go back to, to earlier times for them. And um, there were some great artists on the bill. Chuck Berry was on the bill, Bobby Darin, the Shirelles, um, Gary U.S. Bond. I mean, it was a pretty cool concert. I would want to see it. The thing was, our dad was playing uh, his country rock music with the Stone Canyon Band. And it's not that he was, as Gunnar said, ashamed of where he'd come from. It's just that especially because it was him, he really had to try to, uh, people call it now, manage his brand. He just wanted to make sure that people gave him a listen. And he was having fun playing colleges at that time for 20 and 30 people because those kids had no idea about his past as a former teen idol. And he was having a great time being a real artist and a real musician when he got that call. Now, here's the thing, as Gunnar said, it's tempting. You know, they dangle that carrot and all that kind of stuff. And our dad had a bad feeling about it when he talked to the promoter, who was a little too excited. You know, when they say it sounds too good to be true? And our pop said, listen, here's the truth. When you grow up on television, my experience is people tend to want you to stay the way that you used to be. And he said to the guy, I grew up on a black and white television show, and they keep expecting little Ricky to step out of a black and white TV set. And that's not where I'm at anymore. And the guy talked him into it, and our dad showed up with his band. And he was just, uh, just in time to see Chuck Berry duck walk across the stage and a sea of 20,000 sets of poodle skirts and saddle shoes. And that was just the guys. <laughs> they were there to see the 50s. They just were. And our dad went out with his band, and he launched into a couple of new tunes that he had written. And uh, it was a Rolling Stones song that did it. He just covered uh, with the Stone Canyon band, Honky Tonk Woman. And 20,000 people at the garden turned on him and booed him off the stage. So he wrote a song about the experience. And a couple of weeks later, there was a, a disc jockey there in the New York area named Pete Fornatal. And God bless Pete, he was actually at that show. Yeah, you might have heard of him. And uh, he, was, uh, he was embarrassed about what happened, because there's a lot of conjecture. Some people say, oh, the, the, there were police and they were roughing somebody up. But I'll tell you what, when you're an artist and you hear 20,000 people booing, it doesn't matter if they're booing somebody else, they're booing you, right? And so that song, he decided to write at that time in his life, he had to draw his line in the sand and say, listen, I've grown up, I'm a musician, yes, but I'm also a dad and I'm getting older. And if you can't deal with yourself getting older, maybe that's what the problem is. And I, you know, if you look back on it, the song is probably one of the greatest middle fingers in a velvet glove that's ever been written. <laughs> My dad had to sit in class and style. And Pete Fornatel actually locked himself in his booth so nobody could get in and spun Garden Party on Endless Loop long enough because it was New York, everybody looks to New York to, what to, to start playing on their playlist. Everybody went nuts for Garden Party and our dad had this amazing comeback with this song. So uh, here we are years later, all of us gathered together for the music and for the memories and stuff like that. But the truth is still the truth no matter what you do and where you've been and where you're going. You can't please everyone, so you've got to please yourself. Here comes Garden Party. garden party to this with my old friends a chance to share old memories and play our songs again when I got to the garden party they all knew my name no one recognized me I didn't look the same but it's